Okay, I'm going to be saving some zinnia seeds today. This is late September, and I thought I'd just share with you how I save them. As you can see, the flowers are getting just a little bit worn out looking, but they still do attract butterflies, even this late in the season, as you can see. But what I like to do is pick out the colors I like, like this pink pink type down here. I think that's a really pretty color, so I have one here that's starting to look a little bit rough, so it's ready to be picked. You can use some snippers or something or cut them off, just pull them off. I'm going to take this into the garage and show you what I do next. Okay, now I'll show you how to save the seeds. This is the flower we just picked from the garden. It's not ready. Once you pick them from the, your flower garden, let them dry at least two or three weeks until they're completely dry. Here's one here that's been drying for a couple of weeks, and I'll show you how to get the seeds from your flower. All you want to do is just grab some of these flower petals and the seeds will be at the base of those. So you just pull on them like that. What you see here are the seeds and the flower petal. The seeds are on the end, so just grab those with one hand and then twist. That separates the flower petals, which is trash, from the seeds, which is what you want to keep. They look kind of funny. They don't look like most seeds. They're real thin. So don't worry about it. If they look that way, that's normal. And that's the seeds we just took from that bunch. Put them in a bowl or something until you're finished. We'll repeat that process over and over. There's a whole nice big bunch of seeds. Twist. Separated the seeds from the petals. You just repeat that process until you get all your seeds from your flowers. Here's a nice big, that one. Nice big bunch of seeds. One twist, and they're separated. That's all there is to it. And then you just have to find a place to keep them that's dry. Don't let moisture get to them, or they could get some mold or mildew on them. Just keep them dry until next spring. And you can plant them in your garden, which is what I'm going to do. And you don't have to buy seeds that way.